Hi there, book people. I just thought I would pop in and say happy Friday since everyone's chiming in with their weekend reads. And I've got two books that I am hunkering down with this weekend. I always have a long list of books um, that I'm reading because I like to read multiple books at once. So at any given Friday, there's plenty of options of books in progress. This weekend, I've got two in particular that not only have been on my TBR list for quite some time, they are also in some way marginally related to the research I'm doing currently for my job. And to that end, they're kind of serving as contextual sources of sorts. So here they are. And I'll explain afterwards how they're connected. They're kind of related in like eh, somewhat obvious ways. The first one is a novel called Passing by Nella Larson. You can see that I've read that much. I Special Collections Librarian in me is very upset that yes, I did break down and just use pen as my bookmark. It's super bad for the binding. Passing by Nella Larson is a very short book and actually probably the first third of this is just introduction and research by the editor of this edition. It's a Penguin classic and I actually you can see I got this at the used bookstore in college um, initially for my queer theory class I believe on a unit on race and queered racial identities. In short Passing refers to the act of a fair-skinned um, non-white person passing as a white person in a white society or context for whatever reasons they may have, whether they be racially motivated or otherwise culturally uh, motivated. There's just a whole lot of interesting history and issues dealing to passing in American history passing was very common in the post-war and early Jim Crow eras as um, as some members of the African American community dealt with the effects of racism and those that could pass sometimes did for reasons of being a freer member of society. That is exactly what Nella Larson writes about in this book. Nella Larson was one of the leading authors of the Harlem Renaissance which I'm studying in an art historical sense right now. I'm always interested in women authors and one of my 2015 reading goals was to read more non-white women authors. So this is filling a gap in my reading. Also I did not read this in its entirety in college because we only had a day to read it and I just um it got washed away in my mountains of other homeworks. The simple synopsis of this book is that there are two women both of African-American descent, both fair-skinned. One of them has the opportunity to pass and does, and the other has the opportunity to pass and does not. Prior to the women kind of separating, they are really good friends, and it follows the two of them as their lives diverge and as the one woman kind of moves into a white society in which she is permanently separated from her former best friend. Later in their lives, their paths cross again and it's kind of a delicate thing because they know that the one friend has assumed a completely different identity and to reveal that would be very risky for both of them. So the story has always intrigued me. I think it sounds really, really interesting. I love that it deals with both race, womanhood, and friendship and is something that I don't know a whole lot about. So it's so short that I'm sure I'll breeze through that this weekend. On a similar but kind of different note, I've got Zora Neela Hurston's Dust Tracks on a Road. Similarly to Nella Larson, Zora Neela Hurston was a leading female author of the Harlem Renaissance and for that reason I'm very excited. I've heard many good things about Zora Neela Hurston and sadly I've never read her either. I have started and put down um, their eyes were watching God a number of times in the last months for no other reason than that I keep getting it as a library ebook and it keeps expiring on me before I have time to read it in full. This however is her autobiography. So I'm already hooked. I'm not very far into it um, but I started it the other night while taking a book bath and I love it. She is such a funny writer. She's so warm and friendly. I feel like she's someone I could easily bond with and whose life I would just love to hear her tell me personally over a cup of coffee or wine and some snacks. This is her story of just being a woman in a segregated society, I guess. 
and um, I have a vested interest in her because I've heard so much of her as an author and so many uh, readers that I admire admire her, so many writers that I admire admire her. So um, this I also, I don't think I will finish this realistically this weekend, but I'm definitely going to read it and it's, it's an easy read. I mean, it's not flip by any means, but it's not um, something that I think you would really get bogged down in. It just is a little bit longer than passing. So that's the deal with these two books. That's what I'm reading this weekend amongst many other books that I've got going. I both are about womanhood and friendship in a very uh, segregated and tense changing American society of the um, kind of interwar period, Harlem Renaissance, 1920s-ish. I realize that's a lot of time frames, but kind of that's what we're looking at early 20th century. Either of these um, stuck out in your minds for any reason, I'd love to hear your thoughts and can't wait to see what you all are reading this weekend. Thanks for sticking around. See you on the flippity flip.